Hello and welcome to Limitless, a youth for sure. Remember, we're here to educate, entertain, as well as inform you. So today we'll be talking about extended families. But before I go any further, allow me to introduce the people I'm with on the panel. My name is Evelyn Tembo. My name is Amwa Kantanda. <laughs> okay, my name is Chuesa <laughs> Mungulue. And my name is Martha Sakala. So maybe before we even get into the conversation, mm -hmm. what is an extended family? What's an extended family? Keep up. <laughs> You're an intelligent girl here. Today I'm not intelligent. Okay. Today I'm just br beauty without brains. Today. Empty um, teen. In short. <laughs> Okay, so an extended family is simply a family where we have aunties, uncles, grandmother, grandfather, cousins, nieces, and nephews. That is an extended family. It is just the opposite of a nuclear family. It's that simple. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. It's that sisters. Okay. Yes. Okay. She said grandpa, grandma, ancestors. cousins. Cousin I for think cousin, it cousin. encompasses everyone who is a relative. Everyone, everyone, so everyone who is a relative. relative to everyone. everyone. To me. You. Oh, okay. Yes. That's an extended family. So I think at yes. some point we've, we've all been in that situation. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was the feel like? <sighs> it's always fun. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's always fun and you find such arrangements at grandma's place mm -hmm. where you have to meet all your cousins all your aunties your uncles your ancestors so for me you know every time we're told you're going to visit your grandma for holidays mm -hmm. it was always fun because we got to like mingle with a lot of people mm -hmm. and like the experience was just over the top all the time. Mm -hmm. There's never a dull moment in such a house. Mm -hmm. Never a dull moment, you guys. Everything is. There's always something new that's happening. So there's something trending. Yeah, there's, there's, always, <laughs> there's something trending. There's something happening all the time. Mm -hmm. It's never boring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you would say it's a great experience to be part of an extended family. It Definitely. Is. Well, my own experience has been. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Okay, my experience too, you know, being part of an extended family, it was very nice, it was cute, you know, where you have your aunties, your uncles, your nieces, your nephews, there you get to interact. Actually, it's, it, it's very nice because you get to know relatives that you didn't even know, mm -hmm. and like what is happening nowadays where you only meet people if there's a funeral, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. a kitchen party. Yeah. That's what's going on, but at least by then, us who are growing up in the 90s and the 80s, oh, you know. <laughs> in the 90s and 80s. Which 80s? Which 90s? Yes, sir, please, I'm born in 2000. <laughs> which 2000? <laughs> Topin! <laughs> she's a Topin baby, you guys, so. Uh, everything she's saying now is just hearsay. Yeah, yeah. you heard me and Martha talking because of your elders here. And, and the elders. <coughs> the ancestors. <laughs> okay, I'll share my own experience. I'm coming from an extended family. There's me, there's my mom, there's my dad. I'm the only child, by the way. So there's me, mom, dad, there's my nephew, and my cousin. You know, like growing up, it doesn't even like, oh, this is your nephew, this is a, like, I'll just consider them brothers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and I was having a conversation with my grandma, and she told me, you know, when we were growing up, we would all live together, there was nothing like, ah, because this one is Chita Chita's child, I can't keep them, but like now we're seeing, things have changed. Mm -hmm. Most most people just want to live with their own children. children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's each one for himself and God <laughs> for us. Oh, yeah. If you go to visit, they even tell you, like what happens, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have to give them an announcement to say, I'm coming. And if they say no, you can't you go. Can't go. Oh, why should you go? Mm. So it's it's very, that's the reason why I'm saying this time it's very different from the time yeah. when I was growing up back then in the 90s and the 80s. Because I will just start off my nurse even telling them to say I'm coming to mm -hmm. see you. And they will come me. Mm -hmm. But okay. now they'll ask me what have you come to do? How may we help How you? Long you? How long are you staying? How long are you staying? Okay, no, okay. Uh, let's just be honest. Mm -hmm. They don't actually go to that extent of saying how long are you, are you, are sure? you staying? Actually, or how long? they do. What kind of people do you guys have for relatives? Seriously. <laughs> I do. But that's the reality. It is happening. They might and, and, not and tell you, but they ask you directly. Mm -hmm. Indirectly. So, Mzaka in the next week, eh? mm -hmm. uh, or maybe Mzaka in two days' time, or be like, 
But you can't be in a home where you, you haven't been budgeted for. Oh, I think yeah. that's the main reason why they even mm -hmm. ask when are you going, okay, what is the purpose of the, the visit. visit. Because like, people have already made the budget Kuti, for, for, from today mm -hmm. up to the 30th. Mm -hmm. This is how much we're going to spend. This yeah. Is, yeah. So when, when you're going to visit, they'll actually ask you how long are you staying so that they also are due to their budget, I think. <laughs> yeah, good. that's true. But, you know, I think houses too, like, differ yeah, and matter and whatever and stuff like that. But when you come to my house, mm -hmm. you just look like that train for in October. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then expected one. Mm -hmm. We won't ask you, okay, what are you doing here or whatever. We we'll just welcome you. When you decide to go, mm -hmm. That's you, you actually have to let us you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going now. So mm -hmm. either we give you transport money or whatever, or if you want to go the way you came, you go. You just oh, this person is going. No, oh, okay, okay, life goes oh. on. You know, I think it should be like that all the time. I don't like the idea of asking someone or making someone feel uncomfortable because they look at, you know. <laughs> 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 And planned for, but you know, we shouldn't also run away from the fact that we were teenagers and we were growing yeah. up from at one point, mm -hmm. we were once part of an extended family. How was the experience growing up in a family, you know, where there a lot of people as a teenager did you experience enough freedom? Um, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I think so. Okay. Mm. Well, enough freedom. <laughs> well, the freedom was there. No, the freedom was there in a sense that, you know, covering your, you know, like someone to like to cover you was very easy. Mm -hmm. You get. Especially well, if you have that word that you get along with. See? Uh -huh. So, you know, say 18 hours. People so mock at 18 hours. Everyone, even you know that is so mock at Eh? Where your boyfriend? You can be like, Mwala, Pamu, Tenge, just come out. If mm. your boyfriend has featured to the beauty. <laughs> No, no, no. Benefits now yeah. for growing up in an extended family. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, the covering, you know, like the, yeah, people get to cover your backs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's sort of the benefit. Uh, the other one is that uh, you get to learn uh, more about people's characters. Before you, the say charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. So before you go out in the communities to actually interact with someone that's not of your family circle, mm -hmm. it all starts in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the way I treat my relative is, the same way that I'm going to treat someone that's out there. Mm -hmm. Though people say, no, we're blue, we're blue, we're so treatment is different. But then mm -hmm. if you're rude, you're rude. Yeah. So if I'm rude to my relatives, it's obviously going to reflect to someone, you know, that's not even my relative. True. True. Yeah, so, you know, it, it helps to build people's characters and maybe so, uh, low self-esteem because you have people there in the house that are, like, talking, people that have stronger personalities than yours, people that are going to help you grow. So mm -hmm. for me, it was more on a positive side because the marker that you see now, you know, is it probably comes from that because mm -hmm. you know my cousins helped me a lot. So mm -hmm. yeah, I would say it's 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 a it's good thing. It's very beneficial. Yeah, it's very beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, and you'd see to say there are some parents who are absent. Mm -hmm. They are always busy with work. They are always busy with whatever they are doing. Yeah. So when you have a lot of people at home, you have someone to guide you, mm -hmm. especially someone who is older than you. So therefore, you are going to have like another parent, another yeah. guardian, yeah. Mm -hmm. a second one. It's so always going a first to be, Yeah. It's always a first born. All who's a first going born. to be helping you out? But it might not be your first born yeah. at times. It yeah. could be your auntie or even your older cousin. So at least it's very important where are growing up with people as you have put it with different personalities mm -hmm. even when you go out there you are not going to be having challenges to interact with True. other people True. because mm -hmm. you you know you would have spoken to you have you, you would have been exposed to different people with different characters and mm -hmm. different behaviors it's very beneficial actually because even when you tend to have your own home you would know how to relate with other people from the opposite side yeah. because you have grown up in an environment where there are a lot of people in one home. Mm. But then, food, eh? mm. there's that kind of thing over. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't much freedom, okay, I would say. Let's say if, if you're sharing a room, mm. maybe there are five girls. The, privacy. privacy yeah, yeah there isn't enough privacy you won't even be free at your own place you can't do a lot of things though the, there's always that someone to tell you or some of chat can you behave yourself and yeah. everything yeah i think and it has like both it, it, has, yeah, it and, has got both yeah, and positives. And, yeah. yeah. And you'd find some people don't even like you at Chimazama, at Chufkwan Pao, you understand. But one thing mm -hmm. they're forgetting is that's your home. I mean, yeah. you're supposed mm -hmm. to enjoy your freedom. Mm -hmm. So, to some extent, again, it might not 
might be, you know, but, but it's a two-way thing. Yeah, there's that Bemba proverb. Ah, my brain is back, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the camera on me? Just oh my God. So there's that Bemba proverb that says, if you have teeth, but I mean, it would have to So what do you say? The trees that are like this, they're uh, like this. Trees for Niani, yeah? <laughs> they cannot refuse to shake, shake. <laughs> they come each other. Okay, what, what they are going to go eat. Ah, ah. Okay, okay. What they mean is like, uh, the way Martha and I are, you and I are like mm. that. Yeah, no, it's not all the time that, yeah, it's just an example. <laughs> just explaining to her. It's not all the time that we're going to joke and everything. There'll be mm. times where we're going to quarrel. Oh, yeah. and we're going to have misunderstandings. But it's not again all the time that we have misunderstanding. There's something wrong. Uh huh. It's. All right, I, yeah. I get it. Okay. Yes. So, 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 my copy. Huh? Huh? I can't speak them, but so I guess I want to make sure. Oh, oh, the right eaters. Yeah. It's called <laughs> the Zambia one nation. Anyway, yeah, it is. It is. I, I conquer with you. You can continue. Yeah, so, yeah, the problem, whatever is mm-hmm. done, that's mm-hmm. done. So, yeah, the negatives are there. True. Mm-hmm. Very true. They are there. But then, okay, the negatives again are too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because. Mm. Okay, negatives. Yeah, the, okay, the, negatives, negatives the, the, negatives, the negatives are there, but at the end of the day, yeah, family, my cousin and I at home. Yo, mm. oh, Ooh. it's almost war. Every day we need to argue. <laughs> Every day Every we day. argue. And when mom and dad walk in and they find us arguing, they just look at us. They really don't comment because they say, we don't want to say anything because we're going to say, I'm in favor of this one, yeah, I'm in favor of the other. Mm-hmm. So they find us arguing, they just leave us and you are done. Yeah. And then and you, you go back to normal. Yeah, yeah, and then you find maybe in a house where uh, there's your mother and father and mm-hmm. then there are biological children mm-hmm. and then they are just those dependents. Mm-hmm. It's really hard for parents to actually intervene in such matters because they always have that fear to say, Say, you know, I say something or intervene in, a, in the argument mm-hmm. and then I'm in favor of my child. My child mm-hmm. yeah. So that other person is going to say, okay, because ni mm-hmm. wao, that's why I'm a defender. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's why putting a depression you know, might come in, you know, like from the other party, that the person that's just a dependent there, mm-hmm. they start saying, no, maybe, you know, they're doing ABCD because I'm not their child, because, mm-hmm. you know, like I'm not their blood or whatever. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I think, yeah, it's good for like, Parents just let people argue. Let, let just, them just, you know, yeah. fight, kill each other. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Is that okay, so with my own experience uh, in an extended family, of course it's fun. Of course you get uh, somebody to cover up for you in case you make this mistake and everything. Mm-hmm. But I think there are a lot of disadvantages than advantages. Where like you've already highlighted to say, um, room. Room, you share the same room, the four of us. Mm-hmm. Everybody, as a funa, she would want something, want something different like different characters. Exactly. There was, a, there was even a time where mom had to ask to say, What color should we paint in your room? And the other one was like, No, green. The other one was like, Blue. Mm-hmm. The other one, was, so mom had to just say, I'm going to paint this color mm-hmm. in your room. So and then you just have to look at this color that your mom wants. <laughs> That would have fire. Mm-hmm. Then there's this this even inconvenience of where somebody gets your things without that's your permission. That's that. family. That's family. Uh, yeah. Even as much as that can be family, but hey, it's privacy. At the end of the day, one has to ask for permission from you before they get your stuff, your mm-hmm. things. You get. You don't just start touching, touching things. Uh, you get and then like the favoring part for kumuensu like you argue with your cousin and everything instead whether your cousin is wrong or right you are the wrong one Mm -hmm. whether you are wrong or right you are the wrong one you just take the blames Mm. you take the blames Mm. that's what they used to do (laughs) right so this topic is quite interesting yes. and I'm certain it is getting hot and even more hotter. So stay glued. This is Limitless. We'll be back after the break. Welcome back to the show. And before the break, we were talking about 
extended families, okay? So Evelyn was elaborating more on the disadvantages that, you know, we get to face, you know, mm -hmm. living in a house full of different people, you mm -hmm. know, ancestors, call, name them, mm -hmm. <laughs> cousins of cousins, sisters of Mary, oh, no. sisters of their yeah. cousins, yeah. I almost say sisters of Mary, I don't know why I'm thinking of Mary, but yeah, sisters. Do you want to become a nun? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we bless God for that. And as I was saying to say, you find yourself fighting with your cousin. Mm -hmm. You are wrong. Mm -hmm. You are wrong, you are wrong, you are wrong. There's nothing like you no know, Uyu and everything. Mm -hmm. They'll both sit you down to say, mm -hmm. nobody's right between the both of you. Whether you're both right or not, mm -hmm. you are wrong. Mm -hmm. And they'll make sure they'll tell you what you're supposed to hear mm -hmm. from that argument. They'll mm -hmm. sit you down. But again, there are those cousins, nephews, that we've got, aunties, where they would come and visit you, get calm, mm -hmm. but they're just, they'll just kind of irritate you. They're not appreciative and everything. Somebody would provide for you. Somebody would uh, work hard in, to ensure that uh, as you visited like that, mm -hmm. you, you, would, you have everything. At least you don't starve. Yeah. At least you have something to wear at the end of the day. At least you have a roof to sleep or under you get mm, yeah. but others would be like no shan, shan, shan. especially there are those um, aunties where you would sit in your room like that you're sharing the same room instead of them minding their business and talking about something else they'll just take up a story about your mom yeah that issue yeah that issue about your mom mm -hmm. like that oh, God, and God. you'll be wondering okay is this family or what and they would think no you won't say anything of course you wouldn't want to say anything mm -hmm. to cause that mm -hmm. you get mm -hmm. yes but you would want to say okay but you're my aunties mm -hmm. you are you're supposed to be be to be sticking on something that's positive yeah. and not negative they'll talk about this and that and that and that okay that got me pissed mm -hmm. like they're those just people relatives yes it's family but they're just annoying yeah and you find um, such instances are like combo setups mm -hmm. where something happens in the house so like she said she gave an example of an auntie yeah? mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll, I'll carry that example say your mother's sister-in-law mm -hmm. okay so they argue or something in the house happens instead of her going straight to your mom or like just coming to someone that's lived longer in that house mm -hmm. they're going to tell you about it eh so they've asked to come home you by abcd you know this woman is like this and then you find that those same neighbors who come and tell you people ah i want to look at now but this isn't what they told us and then you know that also you know brings about a lot of uh conflicts and this is why people start saying ah but i want to swam ocean team and what what not mm -hmm. you know like just trying to find a fault in someone, mm -hmm. those relatives, to be honest, those relatives are those ones that just say, mm -hmm. and there are a few, there are a few that are kind hearted and appreci would appreciate to say, Okay, these people have been nice to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. They would always want to create a story where mm -hmm. there's no, no story. story. I hate that. Trust me, I do. <laughs> I, I think that that's a, it gets me up to who just come to fight. Yeah, yeah, that's, there was advocates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her name? Because they're just like certain like issues that are very sensitive. Mm -hmm. For instance, she gave an example of her mom. This is the daughter. Mm -hmm. You come to me and you start talking about my mother. Like, how am I supposed to take that? Mm -hmm. If you have an issue with my mom, go and talk to her, not me. The time she comes in, they keep quiet. I'm like, yeah. that. I'm okay. Okay. I'll keep quiet. I'll definitely tell her, mommy, when you left, they were saying this and <laughs> And then it causes conflict at the end of the day. <laughs> 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 and they even say you were lying. Mm -hmm. yeah. When this is what was actually happening at the end. And the problem is that, again, you your dad can't take sides because those are sisters and, and then your wife and your wife yeah. so and then at the end of the day your wife would still want your support to say yeah my husband yeah. you know i didn't do anything wrong your sisters are the ones who are wrong the moment mm -hmm. you support your wife they say because he doesn't even want to hear True. from us mm -hmm. but at the end of the day they're forgetting to say that's the person who's keeping them mm -hmm. yeah. if the person was so bad they wouldn't even have been living in that house mm -hmm. you understand in the first but place. they just want to gossip and say all those negative things upon mm -hmm. that person mm -hmm. but me if i find you eh? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, 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 I went to visit my grandma 
and uh, my dad's sister was saying something about my dad. I can't remember what it was, but I just, yeah. So they, they talked for quite some time, my, the two of my dad's sisters. They talked, they talked. And I was just there listening, like I wasn't even, you know, paying yeah, attention. Just pretend. But I was there, you just pretend. Letting everything sink in. Like I gave it I just got home. home. I went to tell my father. When I went to this side, they were saying A, B, C, D about you. Mm -hmm. And my dad called and told them, okay, Martha just told me you were talking about me. Yeah. Hey, mother, I don't Hey, we don't want her to come back here. You know, there were all those scenarios that I can tell you from there up to date. The relationship is still bad. Okay, you guys are even, you know, like you guys are even better. Where you even wait to go and tell the person that was being talked about? It's true. I'm a confrontational person. I confront you. You say something that doesn't yeah. make sense or something mm -hmm. that, you know, you know, hurts me or is about someone that I'm close to. Mm -hmm. I'll just tell you point blank. I'll say, oi, what you're saying is like that. That's bad. Okay, mm -hmm. if if you feel you know that person did A B C D, why don't you go up to that person, tell that person what you did? I don't like, and like you come in, you know, like behind their back and then start saying A B C D. Then what? What are you going to achieve? You know, there's this one time I got into a fight. Okay, not really a physical fight, but like <laughs> then you go <laughs> <don't know laughs> by No, I'm not a bully. Call <laughs> me. No, <laughs> no, I'm not a bully. I'm okay. not a bully. I just hate when people actually say bad things about you know people that I'm close to. Mm -hmm. And then this person that was being talked about. It's not even my relative, you get. It's mm -hmm. just a neighbor. Mm -hmm. And then my grandma, my dad's mother, mm -hmm. is the one that was saying those things about the neighbor. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, just why? Why? <laughs> why don't you just, this person is your tenant, mm -hmm. and then you come here and start saying bad things about this person. When you have the right you not know, go tell the person, leave my house, you know, ABC, do whatever, give them a notice, you know, to, to vacate the house. Mm -hmm. You know, don't have to say all these bad things about this person, you know. The moment you start saying bad things about someone else, it just reflects, you know, how bad of a person you are on the inside. Mm -hmm. And I just hate that. Mm -hmm. Because I like to see the good, you know, the little good that people have in them. So when someone starts saying bad things about someone else, it, I take it personal. I'm just like, you know what, this is bad. This is very, very bad. You, yeah. have, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even now, how is the same? People know me. Even my mom does know me. If she says something, unless, okay, we do gossip sometimes, but like, mm -hmm. there's just that gossip that hurts someone. You've yeah. not, when someone gets to hear of this, they're going to like get their feelings hurt, they're going to feel bad, and ABCD relationships can break, mm -hmm. you know, and then someone starts saying bad things, and then you're just like, why? Just why? And I think it is because of these same reasons that now we have uh, we, ha we have these, you know, misunderstandings yeah. in mm -hmm. families mm -hmm. where you now split and you believe with this thing of it's each one for yeah. himself, God for us, God or for us. we only meet during funerals. Because you would find, uh, I would give an example, I'm married, I'm living with my husband. I'm married. It's an, an example. example. Okay, I just wanted to, you guys to say something. Yeah, guys, <laughs> <Yes, laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you want my dad to shout at me, you. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. So now, I'm living with my husband, and I only budget for two people, you understand? Mm -hmm. And then you come there, you look, I just like that, like it's really in the October season, you understand? <laughs> Boom, you find yourself proper without telling me. Okay, you have to fit in my budget. If we eat twice, you shouldn't go outside and start gossiping to say, we are queen now, boy. But actually, yeah, they don't even eat and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Me, the moment I find out that you are talking behind my back, yes, you belong behind my back, but if I find out that you are talking about me, bid farewell to ever come into my place. Mm -hmm. So it's that there's serious. no reconciliation? No. I will reconcile with you, but don't ever come to my place. You're visiting in the first place. You just have to abide by okay. the rules. Now, there are know. those things where someone comes, and then they just observe the way you live, exactly. the way you relate. Some people if just you have quarrels, yeah, mm -hmm. if you have quarrels with your husband, they go and talk about it outside like that. And then now everybody in the Chipanda is going to know about whatever you're going yes, through. Yes, yeah, yeah, you understand. You know, sometimes they even pass silly comments. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. <sighs> Okay, um, is that the main reason why you, went, you you came here? Like, I thought you came here to see how we're doing, you know, yeah. like, catch up with us. Yeah. But and, what's and, happening? <laughs> especially those that are from, they'd be like, no, what do we say so? Yeah. Do? Okay, if you are here, what do the Romans do? It's the combo and the combo. What if I, I'm eating chihuahua, yeah, if she eats? It's not all the time that we're going to, you're going to eat. If yes. Yeah, exactly. I was speaking yeah. about food. Food. Yeah. Eh, much panga tea, manja bread. 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 Bread
Ano ina ina shi ya mabanzi. Kuti wa wa koti, kuti wa koti eka eka. You know, yeah. life goes on. I <laughs> understand. Ati ndefu ya new kiat kama people. Now there's this one concern which we should also talk about before we even, you know, go to the entertainment segment. You would find you are living in this house, okay? It's an extended family. Mm-hmm. There's the sisters to your husband or your mom, the sister-in-laws and whatever. And then they tend to be, you know, fighting here and there, you know, quarrels and everything. How does it affect one when growing up? When you witness your aunt and your mother? Um as 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 a, as a child, that Witnessing that is very bad yeah. because uh, you know it will have a psychological effect on you. You think when people live together, all they do is like maybe fight each other or say bad things about each other, mm-hmm. and then you know it also becomes hard for someone to actually want to keep uh, their people. fellow relatives in mm-hmm. the future because they would want to avoid you know the, the things that they went through. Mm-hmm. So me me seeing that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'll just flash you away. Mm-hmm. I think it also disturbs the, the relationship that you have yeah. with that person if you're a child and that is your auntie and they're arguing with your mom because you always think my mom is right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just a fact. Mm-hmm. So um, if yeah, you've grown up in such a home, then there, there will always be conflict between you and your auntie yeah. or whoever it is that you're keeping. Because you think when someone is talking, you also have to like talk more oh, than yeah. them, such you know, like stress your point or you know whatever. So anyway, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just sad that you know, as a result of those conflicts and arguments, I think that's why now we see um, nuclear families. Nuclear families mm-hmm. where people opt to just stay with their husbands and their cho- two children, you know, and then they just send monies to their relatives. Yeah. They if don't even yeah, they don't even me. visit. Yeah. They don't you know nowadays we don't even know each other because mm-hmm. if you ask me how many relatives are now just count and then you find maybe the master family and the bearers combined. Yeah. You know, it's a community like there are a lot of people that mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. know a handful of those people, mm-hmm. which is very sad. Of which it might even cause somebody being choosy to say, ah, Raja, no, that side, yes, but could ya, no, yeah, could ya, yes, and of which now. You marry one cousin. I was about to say that <laughs> at the end of the day, you meet your cousin, everything happens, no, I love. I'm pregnant, then you get pregnant, and then where is Akumira and do? Only to find it the same family. Oh. <laughs> the family from your oh, mother's side. Can't you and the from the love that I found? So, Imagine I, I that. I just know. I just know. <laughs> Yeah, because everything has already yeah. happened. Exactly. So I think we should we should we should try to make some amends, you know, the way we live our day to day life, mm-hmm. especially as the youths who are growing because we are going to have our own families. Mm-hmm. If at all you find yourself in a situation where you're coming from an extended family, make sure you balance the equation, relate with people. Don't gossip about other people because the moment you start gossiping about them, hey, then you're going to develop conflict but in your it's own hard. You have to gossip if, if it's you go straight really to hard. fight people. If but the best, part, fight, the best gossip. part of the extended family itself, you don't mm-hmm. think. In the absence of that which is not, that which is, is, is not. not. Mm-hmm. So it the actually absence helps you of to discover who you yes. are. Which is not where, where, where. Okay, where, where, where. we'll talk about that. <laughs> <more>. <laughs> All right, so mm-hmm. we take another break. Catch us on the other side with the entertainment segment. Welcome back. Before the break, we were talking about extended families, but right about now, we dive into the entertainment segment. Chibasa, what do we have? All right, so today on the entertainment segment, we have a very beautiful and interesting game. Mm-hmm. Some of you are familiar with it, some of you are not. This one is called Never Have I Ever Love Edition. So we're going to close our eyes, then we're going to be asked some questions. Hey, you know, put your finger not down. Close our eyes. <laughs> Let's not close our eyes. <laughs> and our trust issues. <laughs> Game <laughs> yeah, so okay. today's game is really fun. You can play it as a family at home. You can play it with your brothers and sisters. You can play it with your friends. You know, it's just something that is going to keep you busy when you're home. It's something very fun and really interesting because you can even shoot a video and get to find out some things that you don't know about the other person. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah, so <clears throat> without wasting much of our time. We get started. Love edition. Okay. Put your finger down. If okay, you no, wait, 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 wait. We have, we have to start again, so you lift oh, your fingers, you guys. Put a like that? Sam? Never have I ever yeah. love edition. Okay. Put a finger down if you've been on a date. Put a finger down if you had a crush on two people at once. Put a finger down if you've met.
met someone on a dating app. Put a finger down if you've had a crush on someone for more than a year. Mm, okay. Put another finger down if you have fallen in love at first sight. Put a finger down if yeah. you have been in love with your teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put a finger down if you have imagined being married to someone. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> to someone, but didn't mean it. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Put a finger down if you confess your feelings to someone over text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lastly, put your finger down if you've had a crush on someone in this room. No. no. <laughs> Yeah, so that's all we have for you to do in the entertainment segment. We hope that you have enjoyed the game. It's really fun and quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So even as you are seated at home, you know, during the pandemic of the COVID-19, yeah. you can just play this game with your friends and family mm -hmm. and stay home to keep your loved ones safe from COVID-19. Yeah. But who has a crush on someone for over a year? I, 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 all, all of you guys, again. all of you guys were just like... <laughs> I didn't I put I didn't put my finger down. You didn't? No. Uh, and such things happen. Okay, I also okay, did I, 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 also I did, did. I also did, but I'm just like a whole year. A whole year guys. You guys a yeah. whole year. So yeah. you guys are saying never passed on a cheetah or not. Yeah. Teachers, sorry, not teachers. teachers. No teachers. Way. Not <laughs> teachers. teachers. I, I, did okay. at my, I did at my tuition center. Mm -mm. You know what nice teachers niche. Yeah, okay. Like, so you don't meet people on dating apps. <laughs> Wait, let's talk about meeting people on dating apps. I met one. I, I don't I, have, actually do I, I have don't even know any dating apps. Oh, well, I know a lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, guys, no. guys, a please. Mm -hmm. What's a lot? Is 10 a lot? 5 a lot? Mm, 6? I have lot? 7 dating apps. Wow. Oh. So single. <laughs> Okay, you know, I don't really use them to dead people. But it's a dating uh, app. It's a dating app. That's it's just it's interaction. No. And it's a dating app. Lies. It doesn't mean when I talk to someone, I'm dating them. Come on. It's a but dating app. What are you doing there for you to go there? It means you're looking for it's love. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not not look, I'm, not, I'm not looking for love. I just want to know. That's you know, why we have social platforms. Guys, that's that's what, okay, okay. on the low key, on the low key, on ah, the low key, guys. We just spoke about extended families and knowing different people. Me, I'm not coming apps. from an extended hey. family, so I can know people through dating apps. No, no. arguments. Wow. No. Yes. Let's go for how you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me just say this. Hmm. You're on seven dating apps. Yeah. And you're still single. Marga. No, is it that people <laughs> don't want you or just a good <laughs> I, I think it's the second one. Oh, yeah, I don't want you. She's Democrat. She's Democrat. Okay. I'm, de I'm, I'm just going to say people don't want you. Mm -hmm. People don't want you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's okay. I want you. Do you want me? <laughs> no. <laughs> you said you, have, you don't have a crush in this room. So. No, because. I, I said I want her, not that mm. I have a crush on her. Mm -hmm. you want I can her. want her for other things, not mm -hmm. for crushing. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But still, still then. Ah, All right, yeah. guys. <laughs> that was just a joke. I'm not on any dating app. Yeah, I'm not on any dating app. Guys, I'm not on food. It's not about dating app. I'm serious, mommy. I'm beginning to doubt. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm also doubting. She had to defend herself strong. Strong. For a joke. Hey, African hey, woman. Okay, dating apps are okay. Uh -uh. What's your, what, what's your work? Monday, mm -hmm. even okay. then, if you want time. Mm -hmm. at, at, at least maybe the, the, in the 50th mm -hmm. app, someone is going to want you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, <Well>, that <laughs> one. <laughs> That's All right, the beautiful. This is what we had for you today. We were discussing about uh, extended families, and I'm sure we have uh, elaborated a lot of stuff, a lot of issues uh, concerning the very same topic that mm -hmm. we had with my ladies, and we had on our entertainment segment, we have never have, have I ever, ever love edition. Okay, Shai, that was my first time doing that. Yes, though, <laughs> almost almost this is what you call following the masses. You don't even know what's going on, you're just yeah, following. You know? Okay, but I, I just oh, had to. <laughs> all right, this is all we had for you on Limitless. This was Evelyn Tembo, Mwaka Tonda Monsa, Princess Chiresa, Martha Sakala. So, catch us next week on Limitless only on Loyola TV. Goodbye, adios, amigos. <laughs> <laughs>